listening to feedbacks and testimonials from our students around the world goes to show that irrespective of the geographical location you are, you need personal development. Those from Ambazonia down to Georgia, to Kenya, Nigeria, to Canada, just to name a few, gives a picture of a common tenacity we need in pushing to be better and getting unleashed. And with me today on our Mod Africa Heroes Journey is a dynamic lady that goes by the name Lucy Wange to share insights about her journey so far. I'm Faith Alukam Chinaza, Customer Experience Manager with Mold Africa. Do tell me what you think after the story. My name is Lucy Mwangi, and I wish to thank the entire Mold Africa team for the work that they are doing. I am a wife, a mother, and a freelance writer and editor. I'm also a businesswoman. I joined Mold Africa in January 2021, and when filling the registration form, I quickly wrote, wrote personal development as my reason for enrolling. But today, four months down the line, I'm already halfway into my advanced schema class and I've already enrolled for my mind mastery class. I can confidently say that I am not the same person that joined in January. I'm confronting things about myself that I have always kept hidden in the closet. Mold Africa has taught me to see my naked self and then provide me with the skills on how to unlearn and relearn just as God instructs us. Every area of my life has positively been impacted by Mold Africa because my thought and decision-making process is daily being renewed. I no longer allow myself to react to situations and circumstances. About a week after I joined the advanced schema class, I lost a close family member and my, mom, my mind went blank. I missed one class and found myself completely distracted in the next one. I had to make a decision on the way forward. And it was at this point that the skills that I had been learning at Mold Africa kicked in. We had just learned about emotions, feelings, and moods. Yes, I, there was no way I was going to deny that I was sad as a result of this loss. But staying in that zone would have been detrimental, not just for my well-being, but it was also not going to help my cousin's husband and her two boys. So I quickly pulled myself together and then drew a list of the various ways that I could be of support to her family and also came up with a strategy to make up for the lost time with regards to my studies. Prior to joining Mold Africa, my default option would have been to either defer or drop from the class. But this was no longer an option because I have acquired the skills to go through the process and make the best decisions under any circumstances so that I can increase my productivity. This is just one of the ways that Mold Africa has helped me in a situation that would have lingered on for months on end or even spiraled out of control. At this juncture, I would really like to urge anyone that has not joined Mold Africa to do so. Not just for their own personal development, but because in the process they will meet their best personal self, best self, best self yet. Thank you, Mold Africa. Wow. Lucy, if I used the word phenomenal on you, I wouldn't be exaggerating. Because I am still working on myself on how to manage grief. And so to our viewers, how do you manage grief? How do you go about it? Do leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and also share it. And lastly, 
subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos that will be coming your way and click on the notification bell so that you get updated and so i come your way next time to get unleashed Thank you.